Hi friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the third largest element in an array of distinct elements. So here's the problem. Given an array of distinct elements, find the third largest element in it. Let's look at an example. Suppose we need to find third largest element of this array. We can clearly see that the third largest element of this array is 14. Simplest way to solve this question is to first iterate through the array and find the first maximum. Store the first maximum as well as its index. Now traverse the whole array again and find the second maximum with the changed condition. Finally, traverse the array for the third time and find the third largest element. Let's look at the implementation in C++. We initialize maximum as the zeroth element of the array. Then we traverse through the array once and find the value of largest element. We store the largest element as first and initialize a variable second as int min to store the value of second largest element. We iterate through the array once again and find the greatest element smaller than first. We store the second largest element in second. Similarly, we can find third largest element and store it as third. In the end, we print the third largest element. Let's look at a better solution. In this, we will be iterating the array just once. We create three variables, first, second and third. After this, we iterate the array and compare each element with first. If ith element of the array is greater than first, then we update all first, second and third. That is, third becomes second, second becomes first and first becomes ith element of the array. Else, if the ith element of the array is greater than second, then we update third and second. Else, if it is greater than third, then we update third. At last, we return third. Let's look at the implementation of this problem in C++. First, we create three variables, first, second and third. Then we traverse through the array. If the ith element is greater than first, then we update all the variables. Else, if the ith element is greater than second, then we update third and second. Else, we update third. Let's look at an example. We initialize first as the zeroth element of the array, that is 1 in this case, second and third as int min. We will traverse the array from i equal to 1 to i equal to 5. We can see that at i equal to 1 we have 14 which is greater than first. So we update all the variables. At i equal to 2 we have 2 which is greater than second. So we update second and third. At i equal to 3 we have 16 which is greater than first. So we update all the variables. First becomes 16, second becomes 14 and third becomes 2. At i equal to 4, we have 10 which is greater than third. So we update third to 10. At i equal to 5, we have 20 which is greater than first. So we update all the variables. First becomes 20, second becomes 16 and third becomes 14. Now we have iterated through the entire array and our output will be 14. The time complexity of this solution is O of n since we are traversing the array just once. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments 
इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन